Uh, so what are you guys trying to get done? Well, we want to enable affordable Internet access for everyone. And so we're building a system which can provide, it's at scale, which can provide low-cost access to people in rural areas around the world. Uh, are there particular parts of the world that you feel like have got the revenues for that? Because I can't imagine you're thinking about farmhouses in Iowa. Farmhouses in Iowa are one, one, one certainly one market. Um, globally, there's uh, millions of, or billions of people who have no access. And so the cable systems and the fiber to the home systems only cover a very, very small percentage of the total market uh, globally. And it's, it's super important that we get Internet access for everyone, because if you're, if you're behind, if you don't have that access, you fundamentally are economically disadvantaged from the rest of the world. Yeah, it, it is interesting, uh, all that. But do those markets, is there enough of that market to make a business out of this? Like, talk to me about why, uh, or, or at least what the difficulty is in terms of imagining a market of that size. Well, think about the markets, the telecom industry right now. The third largest set, um, telecom in, um, operator in the world is Barty, uh, and they invested in, in OneWeb, and they have over 300 million customers. So if you contrast that with, with AT&T or Verizon, there's a very large market out there that's not in the U.S., and there's literally billions of people. And then if you take a company like what we're, what we're doing with the, the Internet at scale is we're able to provide to aviation, maritime, oil and gas, which are traditional satellite operators. Operators. The aviation market is scheduled to be over $3 billion in the next five years, and there are 30,000 new commercial airliners coming online in the next 20 years. Yeah, talk to me about how that works. I've, I've watched GoGo and I've watched uh, Viasat. Uh, you know, the satellite service is so much better than what the service you're trying to offer in terms of just the speed of a connection for, for planes. But I watched GoGo gobble up market share, and it seems that the customers are sticky because it's just really a pain in the butt to rewire. Uh, airplanes. Well, the new airplanes will have fresh wiring in them. So they'll, the, the key for airlines is to have a single antenna that can work globally. And you don't have that right now. You have one antenna that might work in the U.S., another one that might work in Europe. And so airlines, as you transition from country to country, and of course airplanes do that, they don't have an easy way of getting Internet access for their customers during the entire duration of the trip. And you need a gazillion satellites up there, right? A gazillion is probably not actually a number. I should check with Google on that. that yeah, that's, that's not the exact accurate number. Uh, what is the exact is where accurate we start. number, Greg Weiler? Sorry? <laughs> 648. 648 satellites give us enough capacity and coverage to bring about 10 terabits per second of new online capacity for the world. And, and is it the same speed that you would get uh, in an airplane at 35,000 feet as you would get on the ground? You can have 400 megabits per second to an A380 anywhere in the world, or you can have 50 megabits per second at your farmhouse in Iowa. So the, the Internet capacity and the services that will come over OneWeb are pretty much identical bit for bit for a cable modem.